Yo, back again with another my team video. And we're gonna make my top 15 point guards. And to be on this list, you gotta be a shooting guard slash point guard, okay? You be to be on this list. To be on this list. And before I do this video, I'm just gonna mention these bum trash can cards here. To only edit the video to showcase the scrub as it is Harden. Harden, you know, Harden, James Harden cards. All of them freaking suck. They all are literally garbage. I don't care. No one says, don't listen. No one says use Harden. He is a straight garbage can. He's not even on making the list. He sucks. And also, ha <laughs> you're not hitting. You're not hiding either, Mr. Dame Dolly. You were also freaking trash garbage like oh my goodness gracious like uh you should get your basketball deeds taken away because oh my god you freaking suck on the court oh my goodness he's sucking too okay these cards are bombs do not buy any of them they're both scrubs both cards are scrubs. good to me but yeah we got that we got that taken care of but we got we got we got we got that taken care of so number 15 we're starting off with number yeah we're gonna we're gonna start off with mike bibby i like mike bibby okay give me mike bibby any of the week or pink diamond Harden. and you know, i don't many y'all probably haven't grinded for mike bibby but he comes with basically rudy gay's old jumper from last year john morant dribble style you know, okay, size up. Like, I like Mike Bibby a lot. Like, I really like Mike Bibby. Tennessee, 70, 84, step through shot. Like, Mike Bibby is decent. Like, I really like this card. He's a good for TTO grinding, especially if you're grinding offline. And, I mean, he has a good shot release. That's all you can ask for from a point guard. I'll take him over Marcus Smart as well. I like I like Mike Bibby. I like him starting off the list. Ah, uh, but number 14, we got Kyrie Irving. I like Kyrie Irving in this game. And it was a really hard list because I actually like this Kyrie. This Kyrie doesn't offer much on defensive and he's lacking there severely. But I mean, Damian Lillard offers no defense and he's bet way better than Damian Lillard on offense. Like 93 pointer, 92 free, 93 speed. 93 speed with ball, a good dribble style, a good size up. Like, I like Kyrie a whole lot. Kyrie is really, really, really good. I mean, we get a better car with some better defense. I can see him being really high. They got the glitches. They got the glitches dunking, though. Make that like an 80-ish. Like, he needs a glitch car. But we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. We'll see down the line. You know, down the line. But number 13, we got Sean Livingston. I like Sean Livingston over Dyson because Sean Livingston can at least, you know, he he can at least post up on shorter guards at, you know, 82 speed. You know, he doesn't look crazy. He has all right defense, but he gets handled for day. I mean, that was a like, quick first up. Then when you're just a post up point guard, you can barely move anyway. It kind of sucks. He doesn't have handles, but he can guard up. He got an easy shot. I like I like Livingston more than Dyson. Dyson really wasn't that good. It wasn't bad. I mean, he was better than Harden, but I mean that doesn't that ain't hard. I mean Darren Williams is better than Harden, but ain't ain't that hard to be better. So number twelve is Sean Livingston. Why is it number thirteen? Number eleven. Y'all gonna be surprised. He's here. It is or down on the list, but I'm gonna have. Pink Diamond Corey at number 11. I'm not that high on Corey. I had him in my overrated worst value cards. This card is right now, I just saw 400k on the auction house. And he's just not that good. He has a limitless. He has dead. He has Kenju Agent 3s. Like his badges look superior, but he bricks everything. Not a great defender. I like his moving shot is the only reason he made this list. Because otherwise, I wouldn't even have him on the list. I don't like Corey really. Low wing span, but... He has a good he has a good moving shot where he shines at. But like all that's the highest I can go. Number 12 for Corey. That's like the highest I can really go with. I can't go any higher than that. Number 11, the ball headed Jason Kidd. Takeover card, Jason Kidd. You know, 82, 896 speed with ball. 
I thought this car would be a lot better. I grinded for him, and I didn't, I didn't see nothing that special with him. I, I really think the old thing, love thing, is blown out of proportion. I really don't think it's that overpowered. But, I mean, tremendous good defense, offense, can dribble a little. I like him, but no, not having the ability to dunk and run a dunking meta just isn't just isn't enough for having 50 dunking and a zero driving dunk tendency it's just not how does he got a 35 alley oop but he has a zero okay never mind it's driving dunk he can dunk a little but mm, i didn't really fly i didn't really like jason kidd that much wasn't really wasn't really high on him i didn't like him that much he was okay but he, nothing special donovan mitchell at number 10 I like I like Donovan Mitchell. There's just better options now that he's forward. But Donovan Mitchell is one of the best takeover cards. A card with a free pointer, a guy that can slash at the paint, a guy that can dunk it. I mean, he is a elite point guard in my team. If you can get this guy on your team, he can get limitless. He can get clamps. Like I I, I personally like Donovan Mitchell a lot. I like I do like him even at number ten. Still was adjust them if you have them. If you learning low at a point guard, run Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell's still decent. He can still get the job done. People think, oh yeah, you're top 10. You're top 10. You can run on a team. If you're on his list, you can run on a team. Number nine, we got Chris Paul. And I just don't like I just not high on Chris Paul. Just I'm just not. He lacks in the plate. He has he's supposed to be a playmaker. But he has his almost same playmaking badge as Steve Nash. He's his release. I mean, no zero driving dunk tendency. Only at six foot. I mean, he's all right. It's just only eighty and two. He kind of wish that was in the nineties for his height. But seeing six foot, I mean, he looks good on paper. But his height just holds him back. If he was six six, and he can. You can make this work, but being six foot, I'm not high on Chris Paul, and I don't think Chris Paul's that good. And people are gonna be like, oh my god, but you're a Hall of Fame glove, Cash. But, like I said, Hall of Fame glove don't mean Jack. Don't mean Jack. Don't make him a good card. Don't make him a good card. So, number eight. You got Derek Rose here at number eight. Like, Derek Rose is not. It's not bad. He has 98 speed, 88, 88 shot mid, 84 shot three pointer, 95. I mean, Derrick Rose, I use him for over 100 games of clutch time online. He is good in my team. He's very, very, very good in my team. But his defense isn't the greatest. And I think he personally, like, he lags sometimes. He doesn't slash as good as Westbrook to me, at least, when I use him. So that's why I have him at number eight. Number seven. We got Steve Nash. I personally think Steve Nash is a better point guard than Derrick Rose. You can chat in the comments section and go hate on it and say it's wrong. Say Steve Nash is overrated. Listen to all the YouTubers. Batter Steve Ponder say Steve Nash ain't it. He ain't it. But hear me out here. Steve Nash got Hall of Fame Dimer. Derrick Rose does not have Hall of Fame Dimer this early in the game. I'm taking Derrick Rose. I mean, Steve Nash for Hall of Dimer. We're early in the game. We're early. Where players still can't shoot. So nice people need help. Over Rose, which I don't even think Rose comes with Dimer. So we get the our bronze Dimer. He comes with bronze Dimer. Comes with bronze dimer, no Hall of Fame dimer on him. And Westbrook has Hall of Dimer too. It's just like I'm, I'm taking Steve Nash. I'm sorry, I am. He might not have Duncan. Steve Nash is better than CP3. You can say I'm overrating, but am I? He has the same amount of playmaking badges. Chris Paul ain't guarding Jack even with the same defense. He's 6'3 three, three inches on Chris Paul. I'm taking Steve Nash. I like Steve Nash a lot. People need to get more respect. He's a good card. Number six, we got Dwayne Wade, you know. Nice six speed, half bully. See, that's the thing with D-Wade. He's a very, very good defender. Like, his defense is tremendous, is elite. His shot really is brutal. Like, it is bad. Like, I don't... It's not that his shot bad, it's just it's on normal. If it's on very quick or quick, it would be fine. But 
that shot release is just not it personally to me. So that's why I cannot suggest them. I don't like that shot release. I just don't. Actually, I could suggest him he want a good defending point guard, but if he was cheaper, he's just way too overpriced. Way too overpriced in my team. Way, way, way overpriced. Now we're into the top five, though. I personally think Steve Francis makes the number five. Good driving dunk, which I value a whole lot. 95 speed, 85 perimeter, 86 three-pointer, 6 three animations. He got John ja Morant dribble style. That is decent. He has Steve Francis size up. He has attributes. All right tendencies. I mean, I, I like Steve Francis. I was high on them before. Let's change up a little. Handles for days. Kyber drive. I like Steve Francis in my team. Couple, give him a couple defense badges. Limitless. This card looks, card is elite. Card is freaking gas. Next to number four, we got Gilbert Arenas at number four. Gilbert Arenas is actually decent. I wish he had Michael Jordan dribble style instead of pro, but he got Kobe escape. Pro dribble style. He has a good release. I tried. His release isn't bad. And he can dunk the ball. He has, he has 85 dunk and with a 75. You wish that was in the 90-ish. But it's good enough. Like you can dunk the ball. He has multiple shooting badges and a couple finishing. No fearless, but you know, see, Gilbert Arenas is nice though. I like it. I like I like Gilbert Arenas. Number three, we got Ja Morant. Ja Morant, number three. I really like Ja Morant. He's the only of the rare point guards that has jumper on quick. Does Gilbert Arenas have his jumper on quick? I don't think so, does he? Nah, he has on normal. Like, he's one of the rare point guards that the shot on quick. His release is nice. He got dead eye. Only thing he lacks in is defensive badges. So maybe he gets a possible moment Carter upgrade where you can get some more defense badges. But I like John Murray. He's an elite slasher. He dunks on people. He's elite. If you can't get a trophy case car, I definitely suggest getting John Moran. Just wait for his price to get down because he's 500k. Market wild. Just wait till Halloween. Halloween content's out and we'll see like what comes out. Number two on the list. It's K Cunningham. Ah yes, I really like K Cunningham. It's very tall point guard. Wish he moved a little bit better than how he does, but he has Michael Jordan dribble style. Wish he had a pro size up. He just doesn't move like as sometimes I might want. Doesn't mean he's a bad card. Like he is still a really, really elite point guard. Wish he was 6'8. But I, I'm realizing he's a better shooting guard than point guard, but that's still. Still, though, he's the second best point guard in the game. But I have to rate this point guard number one. I'm not rating it KD. You can easily make the arguments Kate cutting him. I have to rate Russell Westbrook number one. Russell Westbrook is broken. He has a good shot. He dunks on everybody. He passes. He has half dimer. He makes everyone better on the court. Like, Westbrook has multiple defensive badges already pre-installed on him. I mean, he is badged up pretty decently. I mean, make all you have to give him is Limitless, maybe. Give him Agent 3s. Throw him Ank, throw Anchor, Glove, Post Lockdown. He's, he's perfect. Or you can throw Hyper Drive instead of whatever you want to do. But he is, like, perfect. Like, I really like this Westbrook a lot. And my team, he's one of the most elite point guards. I was cooking with him in clutch time. Unlimited. He is freaking elite. Especially out there with Sabonis. I really, really, really like Russell Westbrook in my team. He's the best point guard in the game. But yeah, that is my list for the top five team point guards in my team. Let me know in the comments. Hit the sub button. And let me know your take and opinion on my list. If you like it, if you hate it, you despise it, you think it's garbage, you think it's a poor trash, do whatever in it. But see y'all in the next My Team video. <laughs>